Q93, Alexandria's number one hit music station. Joining us by phone is Clyde and Gracie, also known as pop duo Lawrence. Guys, thanks for calling in this morning. Thanks Thank for you. Having us. Yeah. Let's start off with uh, how the two of you started in music and ended up together here today. Yeah, I mean, we've been playing music together our whole lives. Gracie and I, you know, we're four years apart, and just around our house, we were always playing music. Um, and all the other band members these days we tour with a full eight piece band with a horn section and everything um but what's really cool is that all of the other six members of the band even the ones that aren't our siblings are are you know best friends from different points in life childhood middle school college so we've just slowly been playing shows with different groups of people amassing a really core fan base and putting out music since we were kids honestly that's awesome so you must be really close since y'all have been friends or some of y'all are family yeah. exactly the eight of us it's like one one big family <laughs> and you guys recently uh, had your first late night appearance on jimmy kimmel how was that experience like it was amazing i mean we you know have talked for so long about how excited we would be to do late night and um I think it, it worked out so amazingly well to, you know, we were on tour at the time and to be able to do that in the middle of our tour with a song that we're so proud of. And I think, you know, what we love about the song Don't Lose Sight is that it really like encapsulates everything that the band is about and has both of our vocals in it. So to be able to perform that song on, you know, Jimmy Kimmel and the whole crew and everyone was so generous and kind and wonderful to us that, uh, it was just kind of like a dream experience. It was awesome. Sweet. Speaking of the song, Don't Lose Sight, it's on the charts doing well. Tell us a bit how the song came about, and did you guys expect this song to take off like it has? Yeah, um, I mean, that was a song. We were actually in L.A., and uh, we were, ha you know, the song is about kind of persevering through hardships and, you know, especially in, like, career settings. And a lot of people have come to assume that, you know, it's us talking about our feelings in the music industry. What's ironic is actually Gracie's an actress, and she came up with the kind of concept for the song after she got uh, didn't get an audition that she was really hoping to get. Um, so it was like a funny thing where it, actually the genesis of it was about a different corner of the entertainment industry. But, you know, as we wrote the lyrics, it kind of morphed into being just about our experiences in the entertainment industry broadly. And, you know... Um, that's kind of where the genesis of the song came from, and it was really important to us to include specifics, but also to make it the kind of song that it's for anybody. It's not, you know, about the music industry, about whatever, because so many people, you know, need to feel the message of not losing sight in whatever area of their life it pertains to. And I think when we wrote the song, just not only because of the message, but just because of, like, the really fun, upbeat, chord progression and the fact that it features both me and Gracie on vocals and it features horns on a big riff like I think we felt like it had everything in it in one song that like tells you all about who we are as a band so I think we were certainly hoping that it could be uh you know a hit song for us because it's such a great way to introduce people to the band so I think we were certainly hoping for that of course you never know what's gonna take off or not Right, I think I first heard it actually on a TV commercial. I could be wrong, but I think that's where I yeah. first heard yeah, it. Yeah, it's had a couple of cool. It's had a couple of really cool kind of big moments between. It had a big moment on TikTok, and then yeah, it was on this Microsoft commercial that played a ton. So it's just between all those things, and now um, radio and everything else. It's fun seeing how all these different people are coming to the song for different reasons. And I read somewhere too, you guys will be hitting the road for a tour. Is that correct? Yeah, I mean, we've been on the road, you know, for so much of our lives and actually right after the pandemic have basically been on the road since uh, it was safe to do so. Um, but we're starting a new tour um, this summer in just a few weeks, the Sounds of Summer tour with our friends, Mr. Wives. They're an incredible band, also from New York. And uh, yeah, we'll be we'll be starting that tour end of May. So. That's awesome. So where can we get tour dates and more information on you guys, a website, social media? Yeah, yeah, everything's, uh, you know, all of the socials are at Lawrence the Band, um, and you can get tickets for that co-headline tour with the Mr. Wives, which is on sale now, and we're embarking on that tour in just a couple weeks. We're going all over North America, and you can grab tickets at our website, lawrencetheband.com. We've been talking with Clyde and Gracie, also known as Lawrence. Would you do me the favor of introducing your current single right here on Key 93? Absolutely. I'm Clyde. I'm Gracie. We're Lawrence, and this is Don't Lose Sight. Are you kidding me? I'm 
getting sick of the industry. I've had enough of the make believe. Oh please, oh please, am I lost or found? I'm getting sick of the ups and downs. No need to give me the run around. I'm out, I'm out. This gonna kill me, but I won't let it. And I try to give them help. Sick of the in between, burning in place isn't interesting to me. To me, am I good enough? Does that even matter or is it not? I'm checking the prices, I'm giving up. Now what? Now what? Change. It ain't ever gonna change.